Hey yo, this is where I go to the store. I eat and then buy some more. Cheese! 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 Oh, right, motherfucker! It's called a jump scare. I'm. I've uh, been watching a lot of really eloquent horror lately. Eloquent? Yeah, and they told me that you gotta, like, right when they're least expected. <laughs> hey, yo, what up, dude? Hey, what's got you giggling, man? Some, like, some new TikTok or something? What? Oh, no, I'm looking at, uh, pictures of ducks, man. Did you say, did you say ducks? Yep. Looking at pictures of ducks. ducks. Dude, I said ducks. I just wish they had more bill, you know? You want the ducks to have more bill. What does that even mean? <sighs> yeah, I would just love if the ducks had Mo Bill. Wait, Mo Bill. Mobile? Mobile gaming just got a whole lot better with Raid Shadow Legends. Yup, that's right. And you can even download Raid right now to your mobile or PC by following the links down in our description. Let me ask you this. What do you think of Raid? What do you think of? The YouTuber Chills, that's right. And what do you think of when you think of the YouTuber Chills? You think of top five videos, of course you do. So let me introduce you to my top five number reasons that you should download Raid Shadow Legends today. Number five. Raid is filled with some of the most epic characters in the game, but what really intrigues me is the fly mama waifus that are not capable of leaving you, no matter how bad you are at dungeon runs. We got a simp over here, boys! <laughs> Number four. You can level up your epic champions while not even playing the game. For, I'm serious. You forget about them? They, they, just get, they just keep working out. They just start getting swole as hell. It's not like Neopets where they just die. They just start they start bulking. Start up some meal plans. It's all about, it's all about tribe. <laughs> Number three. Narration provided by Skull Lord Vargal of the Lizardmen faction. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Skull Lord, for that informative number three slot. Number two. You'll be able to survive the terrain of the Metaverse Takeover by having an online team built of the strongest members from your favorite factions. Uh, yeah, I heard, uh, heard Mark Zuckerberg's gonna be a playable character for the, for the Lizardmen squad. <laughs> Hey, it's it's it was, I was just kidding. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, it's all good. It's good. Dab me up. Dab me up. That's it. I'll see you in Applebee's. The number one reason to download and play Raid Shadow Legends is, well, why not? It's free to play. It has meme accolades. Popping crystals is mad satisfying. <clears throat> the dopamine. Yes. And most importantly of all, it's a community to thrive in. What's that? You already know about Raid, and everything they have to offer? Oh. Well then, you must already know about the special daily events, right? And the new champs? Well then you must already know about the Guardian Ring. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, I can smell you shivering. I know you don't know about the Guardian Ring. It's brand new. That's okay. You'll be able to survive the terrain of the Metaverse Takeover by having an online team built of the strongest members from your favorite factions. Still not shell-shocked yet? Well, don't worry. Because in December, Raid is releasing their biggest and most anticipated features ever. Hey, somebody come and take a look at this. With all this brand new stellar content, it's the perfect time for you to pick up Raid and get to conquering. If you want to get a huge jump in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code that's been big chillin' all vid. And you'll get the epic hero, Chanaru, who is amazing in the Doom Tower, by the way. 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard so you can get an awesome new champion when you start in the game. All this treasure and rewards will be waiting for you. Right, right, right about, right here. Once you're in, you can find me in the game under the alias Duckzilla7861. And if you hurry, you can join my clan, the Devil Daddies. But you better act fast. And boom, it's that easy. Just click the link in the description, and I'll see you in the game. Now then, hit the lights, burn some incense, and let's let the sin begin. <laughs> Alright, everybody, welcome to the Gadani Show. Today, Don't we... Tell are doing it's something, but you gotta it's guess. Secret. It's a secret. You gotta guess. Don't read is. the title either. Today we are going to be showing you songs from our childhood that still slap. Oh. And the 
the the the uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? The not the recommendation. Oh, gossamer, the, probably. The oh, gossamer. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, think no. that was the word. <laughs> The stipulation of this is that they have to be the songs. Stipulation. <laughs> That's a good one. Right? That's a good yeah. one. They on, have to be songs brand. that were big while we were kids. So, like, if we listen to songs from the '80s that were big, it doesn't count. It's got to be songs from our childhood era mm-hmm. when we were like 12, 13, just getting into music that slapped, and we listened to recently, and they still. Fucking slap. They still slap. Bangerangers, baby. So, Bangers would, only. Would you like to go first or I shall I do, go first? I would first? fucking love to go first. Go for it, baby. Uh, um, Let's I, see what I, you have. Just go. Can, just dive right can, in, bro. Can, can I just have you guess it first? Like, off the first note? Sure. Because you're probably going to... Oh, this is going to turn into a whole other video. No, I don't, no, have, we don't, I don't have, do have this plan. We don't have to do this every song. I just... This, okay. this <laughs> one specifically because... I don't know, for you specifically, I guess okay. it's, it's a kind of a thing, but... Okay. Unintentional just because I fucking love this song. Don't look, don't look. I'm not looking, dude. Don't look, bro. I'm not cheating. I can see your fucking sexy eyes burning a gaping hole through my hot and ready body. <laughs> <laughs> the static noise good, by the by the white voice. Oh yeah. You really? Dude, I fucking dude. love this song. Okay, it is a good song. Oh, uh, this is everyone. Who's going everyone, home with you tonight? Everyone yeah, everyone always trapped? says fucking yeah. head, headstrong just traps only no. number one. I don't yeah, I don't yeah. I don't know lyrics like that. Oh I, dude, this song Go Dummy, dude, the chorus. This is this is before this is before the internet exposed your personality. Who's going home with you tonight? In the real or in the part of your collection? Have you crossed the line? This song was this song. okay. Okay. See, yeah, it okay. slaps. Yeah, yeah. It still slaps. Yeah, I oh, I dude, love this song. When he does the the sexy the slow part, up, yeah. dude. Oh shit! I take my shirt off to this. Damn. No, yeah, this. The, okay, but I got one for you. Okay, dude, hit me with it. I got one for you. How about? It's gonna be a hard one to top. How about? How about? Boom from Pod. Ooh, some Pod. Boom from Pod. That song dude. when it came out, I was like obsessed with this song. Yeah, dude. dude. The dirty roofage. Pusha! This song is so <laughs> dude, sick. Pusha! Can we bring that back? Pusha! Pusha! I thought you said Pusha! 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 Kid like me, you can't say because Michael Ronald would have flashed a big SD and rock the masses. From Madrid <laughs> to Calabasas. Do you want to make it, Jerry? He wasn't he was fucking around. He wasn't fucking around. But I'd be putting in work. Commit my life to rebirth. Well respected because that's my word. Oh, and I spit it, my boy. Her about the new sound go brown. She might have left my hood, but she was born in my town. Shoot. Dude, this song is so good. Dude, this video is funny, too. It's so right. Dude, yeah, yeah, dude, that one. Man, dude, that I'm, I regret. Slaps. I missed out on P.O.D., dude. Dude. I didn't know. I literally didn't uh, know about P.O.D. till the ghost inside covered one of P.O.D. Oh, songs. no, dude. The Satellite yeah. album? I would have loved this shit, too, if I knew about this when I was... This is, like, right up my alley. Yeah. Of, like, that new metal yeah. like type of, like, rap with... Like, you probably know, like, Youth of the Nation. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, so, but that shit. whole album that Youth of the Nation was on, uh-huh. uh, Satellite, bro, that bro. whole album was fire. Dude. But that song specifically, I was always like, dude, that's "Oh, that's so tough." Dude, yeah, that's like that saliva type of, of like, yes, click, yeah. click, boom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really. Oh, I didn't include that one. Wait, this is gonna be like a fifty-part series because there's so <laughs> many, there's dude. so many songs. This is, yeah, this is why we, we became musicians. Is this excitement right here? Yeah, and just like oh, when you hear it. a song that just makes you go, "Fuck." Yes. Yeah. It's oh so fuck, baby. Oh fuck yeah. So good. All right, you ready so for good. my number two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit okay. Me, hit me. So this one people know from Guitar Hero, but I know okay. it from just it being a fucking tight song. Okay. Also, funny side note. Didn't I keep forgetting about this? This is the first band I've ever seen live in concert. Really? Yep. That's cool. This band right here. I don't know if I ever heard this. No. What is this? Oh wait for it. You know this? No. Oh, the, the sleeping? The sleeping? You never heard the sleeping? I've never heard of the don't, sleeping. Don't hold back. But oh, dude, this bro, is, I, I have I think no it was like, idea. Uh, it was a like Guitar Hero two or some shit like that. Okay. Like Xbox three hundred and sixty when it first came out. Oh, okay. This. It's cool. I've never heard it. Oh, I literally man, have dude. never heard this. That's song. A, that's surprising. That's funny. The chorus fucking goes in for no reason. 
They have no right to go in that hard in the chorus. I know, right here. Yeah, they played this shit live too. It was so cool. It almost sounds like Ronnie Radke. Tonight! Yeah, that very theatrical type yeah. of singing. Almost like kid. Dracula, very, but not uh, quite. Whenever I hear people sing like that, I'm like, you're a, you're a theater kid, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they were one of the sickest bands, too. What a joy to see that band live. <laughs> Are they still doing band. stuff? Or? Uh, the Sleeping, I don't think so, no. no. I don't believe so. Damn. Don't quote me on that, but I haven't heard shit from them in years, so I'd be surprised. Yeah. So my next Anger. one, and I feel like this one's an obvious one. Bro, a lot of people man. know this one. But it is like, it's probably one of the biggest songs, I think, in the world. Oh, uh, Slim Shady. No. <laughs> Still, still slaps. I didn't include any Eminem on this one. I should, because I used to listen to a lot. But Mr. Brightside by The Killers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. song is, Dude, yeah, we, bro, like, uh, I listened to that song probably 500 times when I was a kid. And I still, at parties, would just, will just ignorantly sing Lord at the top Mr. of my lungs. Brightside. That fucking song. I don't the know rip, what it dude, is, the intro rip. To get immediately, it's like, oh! It's like, <laughs> shit! Like, in, like... Yeah, Obviously, it's not metal, but in my opinion, it's got that same. One of the best songs written. Like, I, I think it's up there with one of the best songs Dude, written. Like, 450 million views on YouTube. Because this was posted in it's 2009, just... and it has that amount of views. Imagine how long that song was out for years and years and years and years, just on the radio. Right before and that. And then uh, went to YouTube. Yeah, before, right. Yeah, exactly. Probably. I don't know. I'm guessing. No, but absolutely. Like, Dude, that song is fucking huge. And I will, I only cool. include it because, like, I... It's a certified will, hood classic. I will <laughs> just recklessly sing that Dude, at yeah. 2 a.m. at the top of my lungs. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's Yeah, great. if I was making it's a great. playlist for you, this would be one of the first songs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this song so much. It's epic too. The like instrumentals in the background and yeah. like, the ambience. It's very theatrical and it goes really well with the video as well. Yeah, and the, the mix guy, is like, this fuck, who's this guy? This fucking he's an actor. actor. He's he an actor. Is, he was in one of the videos that I I have in my list. Oh really? Yeah, he was. He's just like been in a bunch of. Like, he's just old like one of those guys. Music videos. That's yeah, so I was funny. Like, well, I was like, I just saw this fucking guy. He's probably like, he's probably like a low key like he just loves music and he's just Honestly, like, oh, yeah, can I, dude, I'll do it. Like yeah, I'll be in it. I can like, totally do that. <laughs> Stands the test of time. It's very good I think. song. For sure. For sure. It gets you in the mood. You know every single emo night's playing that Oh, yeah. Too. Like, it's required. It's like that meme if they hold a gun to your head and say, you got to sing one song, every word. Don't mess up. I'll <laughs> be like, one. Mr. Brightside, I got this. Let's go. It's funny. <laughs> All right. I guess this would be my party song. Like, I don't put it on every party, but if it's, if it's like, you know, the vibes there where people aren't into metal, I'm going, dude, I'm hitting it with this, baby. Oh, I, oh yeah, I know this song. What's it called again? Uh, it's called <clears throat> Smack That. That's right. <laughs> smack That. All I know is smack that. I can see it from my yeah. shadow. I didn't know it was Akon. Dude, yeah, really? fucking dude, Akon was, had some heaters, dude. Damn. He's got like probably 10 just iconic like party like he's the this, I, I would grind to this stuff like, when, I, when I turned 21 like this is what I was grinding to like, this is like this has been in my life since it came so out <laughs> Akon the fuck gets white people horny dude. I just I just picture a little Austin being like I'm like 12 years old like, mm, smack it I'm on the floor practicing my body rules out in the earth yeah <laughs> that's so funny dude yeah dude, iconic Aconic, Aconic, no, Aconic, sure. dude. <laughs> Aconic. Uh, my third is uh, Cafo by Animals as Leaders. Oh, okay. Because when that Ooh, song came out, it bro. was like, oh shit, people do that with a guitar. That, that's one of the. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that was the uh, first music video I ever saw and the first song I ever heard. Of. I was like. I don't know what's happening, but this is like magical. And the video was so crazy, like sci-fi ish. And I'll go back and listen to it all the time. And I'm like, dude, this still is fucking hard as shit. The fucking, uh, just the intro of that. Like when you, he's like, <laughs> you know, he's like doing some like thumb tapping stuff yeah. at the very beginning. I think that was like one of the first times I really was like, yeah. Guitar is crazy. Yeah, what the dude. Fuck? Like it changed my perspective. Yeah. Of I was just guitar. a little metalcore boy listening exactly. to like, auto yeah. abandon all ships and then all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. this fucking Tosin Abasi shows up and just yeah. floats into the room and starts <laughs> fucking doing this thing. It was so sick. It literally changed my perspective. I was like, I'm either gonna quit guitar uh -huh. or like It like doesn't even register that this is like it's, it's insane. 
If you don't know about guitars and you're not watching this video, you just be like, this is cool. Yeah. But like watching his fingers, you're like, it's really butter. Dude, it's crazy. He's so fucking talented. It's insane. Yeah. I love this if song. If there's one guitarist Still that holds deserves up. the fucking amount of success he has, it's Toshin for sure. Oh, yeah. 100%. And, to, and what's crazy about this band is that the other two aren't like overshadowed. Like, yeah, they're, they're also still good. Both incredibly talented. The drummer, musician. what's his name? Is it Matt Gartz? M- Matt Gartz Matt Gart- Gartz. Uh, yeah, I believe Gartz- it's Matt. I don't know his he's last name, but Matt. And then uh, Javier. Good. Yeah, um, Javier Reyes. Dude, Mestis, dude. I he's fucking insane. love Mestis. That's like one of my favorite instrumental groups. Yeah. It's his side project. It's just like the perfect vibe. But, yeah. But we're not here to talk about Mestis. <laughs> yeah, no. That song for sure. Dude, the, the drumming. Have you seen them live yet? Uh, no, not. Oh my well, God, I don't what think a treat. so. I've seen Tosin perform oh. at Nam before, but I haven't seen Dude. Animals as Leaders live. I think yet. I've seen Animals three times. That's sick. They're fucking. It's crazy. They're insane. It's insane how. Them. Like, they do, like, these t- different time signatures live, too. Well, they'll just be like, hey, remember how that song does this? Well, we're going to, like, do it even crazier <laughs> time signature. Right, right. And it just, oh, like, it makes you nerdgasm. That's awesome. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I fucking, love that song. Oh, uh, so cool. So good. Truly, so good. Tr- truly fucking epic. I'm back to Acorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, you ready for this? All right. And we might have talked about this recently, but it, I will never diminish how excited I get when the beginning of this song kicks in. Okay. Oh my goodness, bro. Hand of Blood. Oh. By Bullet from my Bullet Valentine. My, Valentine. my favorite Bullet song of all time. <laughs> Easy. This power stance with the B guitar. Dude, yeah, this is like Mosh Pit. This is like circa early two thousands Mosh Pit era. This is slam the door really soft and like, <laughs> throw a play to at your wall because it doesn't make that loud of a noise. Fuck <laughs> your fucking pillow, your white boy rage. Dude, the first two so good. bullet records were like super good. Fucked up how sick they were. Super, super so, good. Hold on, this little screen he doesn't. Oh, it's Yeah. Going from clean to so distorted vocal. Ugh. I love that shit. Man. I'll, I'll go back and revisit some old bullet. I'm going to listen to that on the way home. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of times I do that. That is such sure. a good song, dude. <laughs> the way home. That is the one. Like, I see yeah, people get like super excited for Tears Don't Fall and stuff. But yeah. Man, the second that intro of Hand of Blood plays, I'll, do, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop pissing. <laughs> I'm running out of the room. Well, I'll do it later. Alright, uh, so my next one is uh, Becoming the Bowl by Atreyu. Yeah. Am I right, though? Yeah. Dude. Dude. Okay, so <laughs> as as a kid getting into, like, yes. rock, hard rock, and then metal, I, you know, obviously started with, like, Van Halen, Boston, Journey Rush, mm-hmm. ACDC, everything, and then it got heavier and heavier as it goes on, right? right. As, as it does. So, like, by the time I got to Atreyu and, like, this specific song, when they hit that bridge part where it's like, and he's He's like, yeah, and it's just like, it's like, I was like, this is the heaviest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, I was like, this is the heaviest thing I've ever fucking heard in my life. Like, dude, the little 12 year old me was just like, oh my fucking God. Like, I don't, so good. I don't remember who I talked to recently about it. It might, maybe it was you even just that this record specifically was just, I feel like mistreated by yeah. the Atreyu fan base. Like, I feel like a lot of people talk about. Like the first three albums, how fucking just sick they are, but bro, Lead Sales? Lead Sales is sick. That was like the last Atreyu, like the last golden age. That was an amazing album. Dude, yeah, yeah, half the fucking songs, more than half the songs on this record are so good. You don't even care how shitty their screener is. These songs are so sick, and their drummer is such a good boy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let's hit that little part, though. Yeah, it's, the, it's like, because it's, it's so dynamic too. It like goes down, it gets all soft, and then it comes back, and it's just like, I don't know. I had never heard anything that heavy when I was young, young. You know right. what I mean? So when I heard this, I was like, whoa, that's fucking heavy. Did you like, ever hear something too, too heavy, too young? That like, you're like, I'm not. Waking the Cadaver. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, I listened shit. to Waking the Cadaver when I was like 14, and dude. it scarred me. Bro, I should have put Waking the Cadaver on this list. <laughs> it scarred me, but then like now it's like, I don't, you know, that's whatever. So funny. Dude, yeah, mine was a. Uh, this uh, part. Nasty. I don't know why. 
because it's fucking nasty. With just the echoing the, reverb on the vocal, that, it's like, like a, oh, it's so good. That like I don't know what you would call that, but it, like, it always reminds me of like a circley, like yeah. Nah, 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 it's like nah, a fucking nah, nah, nah. like oh yeah. yeah it just makes you want to fucking groove. yeah. This <laughs> so dude, this cool. sound, this was my the soundtrack to Halo Three for me. Was yeah. this, this album right here. That's funny. I fucking listen to this shit all the time. Yeah, it's such a good song yeah. and still holds up. The struggle consumes us all. The change up, bro. Keep level head. That part, dude. That was like one of the first times I was like, "You can change a chorus? What the fuck? <laughs> Why did he do it different that time? It was yeah. so cool. Right? <laughs> so he rad. He evolved the what chorus. What the fuck? All right, what you got? Uh, dude, I'm not, I'm, st I'm still in fanboy <laughs> shock. I'm just I'm gonna talk about a trade more. <laughs> dude, that shit was so sick. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, it was so new and fresh, too. So it was, like, all that there was. So even if, like, the Screamer wasn't the best, mm -hmm. it was still, like, that's all you had for that quality of, like, hard rock right. at the time. Because, like, there, it was the beginning of that, like, genre, I guess. Dude, or oh, man, the mainstream, like, you know. We're absolutely going to have to do multiple parts. Oh, like, for the, sure. The, the, There's so many it songs, It was so dude. painful to, like, I have to pick seven. Like, yeah. I, can't, I need to pick 300, I think. <laughs> Dude, this next one might be scarring for you, but dude, this song puts me in my fucking raw XD cozy. Oh mode, baby. no! This gets my stripes, my coontails all excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this uh, Haste the Day? No, but no. Be, that's a good fucking band. What is this? Can't get sexual too. If I die and go to hell real soon, this is like it will appear to me as yeah. this room. Is it 303? No, they're called Say Anything. They're called Say. Oh, they're, they're called Say Anything. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. That's funny. Touched herself. She touched herself. She touched herself. I call her on the phone and she touched herself. I laughed myself to sleep. Oh yeah, dude. I remember this. This was a banger, dude. Yeah, did you play this? At, walk, walk by a hot topic slowly and play the song, and you will start a conversation with a deviant emo woman. <laughs> Deviant de emo yeah. woman. Oh, uh, this is, yeah, this song. Oh, oh that's so funny. <laughs> where your, where my jelly bracelet boys at? <laughs> my turn, my turn. All right, you ready for this? Yes, sir. All right. Until the day I die. Oh, Story dude. of the year. That's you know what is so funny that, about you saying that the last song that we played. And there was like a part of me that was like that when I said I wish we could do a part like whatever it, yeah. it was literally because I was bummed I didn't put them on my list. <laughs> <laughs> so this is fucking uh, this is awesome for me. <laughs> it's yeah, dude. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. That song was dude. like my emo anthem this for like two album, years. The Page Avenue is fucking insane. It's so good. We'll have to do a follow-up video that are albums from my childhood that oh, still slap. Yeah, that'd be albums. Cool. I like that. Yeah, that'd be really good. For you, for you, until the day I die, I spill my heart for you. What I do, baby, I spill my heart. It's still he, dude, I think we had a long a conversation a long time ago about how this dude had like the sickest scream, shitty, shitty emo screams. Yeah. Like his were tied. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it was. About they were him. so wet. Yeah. It like, Just it like sounded so like. It was so like. Uh, he does one, he does one like later. Oh shit. And it's so he uses it so it's subtly. So, fry, yeah. so and I think there's something to that because like. As a scream, it's like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. a scream. But, like, he uses it so, like, peak dynamic of the song, mm -hmm. and he does it so subtly that it becomes this, like... A lot more powerful. Yeah, moment. it becomes yeah. this, like, peak of, like, this oh, fuck. Like he's actually screaming yeah. this part. Versus Instead of a song that just starts, it's like... Right. Yeah. Or it's kind of screaming every chorus. Or and something. it's like, yeah. we've, we've heard all of your range mm -hmm. in the first ten seconds. Whereas, like, yeah. in this, it's like he uses it so just... It still slaps. Yeah, Love that song. Yeah, this whole the like era of bands like uh, story so far or story of the year and like like rock and emo shit, hard like, rock like God. metal yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. sure. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I, I am not gonna have to tell anybody what fucking song this is because it's it needs no introduction. 
I mean, honestly, with your parents, I wouldn't be surprised if you weren't allowed to oh, like, no. know what this is. It's fucking time ago in a town oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a humble family, religious through and through. Dude, the, ha having Meatloaf and Dio on this track, like, <laughs> Meatloaf kills it, but yeah. dude, I still, to this day, two days ago, went and rewatched this Dio part. Yeah. That's... Oh my god, that's something I was so bummed. Like, I didn't get into Dio until I was an adult, like, what, like, past his, yeah. like, well, after he had died, so. Sure. Man, Dio is one of the, probably the sickest singers, like, ever. I, He's so good. I was so bummed. He's I was like, really man, good. I can't believe I didn't get into you until now. You are hungry for the cock. He was great. <laughs> Dude, have you seen the video of Dio recording this? No. Did he one takes the, like, the whole oh, I, thing? Oh, I bet. No, the most manly vibrato ever. <laughs> Your dad about to cry. <laughs> you will find a strong alliance and the world's most awesome bear. It's because he was OG, dude. They didn't have, like... They didn't have the ability to edit like they did back then, so you had to just kill it. You had to be really good. Yeah. Hell yeah, it's uh, a good one. Hit me with your next one, baby. All right, I don't know, you, you probably know this song, but the the Feel Good Drag by Anne Berlin. Well, I've heard you, I, do, I actually don't know any Anne Berlin. I've heard you Bro, talk about Anne Berlin. Listen to that song, dog. It's so good. I'm excited. I will always go back to this song and listen to it over and over again. Somebody call to Anne Berlin. Oh, yeah, this is a you riff for sure. <laughs> My influences are coming out, dude. I'm here for you, she said, and we could stay for a while. All our friends gone, we could just pretend. I love this song. I think bro. I know this song. I don't think I've ever heard this song. Really? Yeah, this is. Maybe it's a bro. Chorus. If you this doesn't listen, sound familiar at all to me. If you listen to this song, you're gonna be singing it for the next like two weeks straight. <laughs> Wait for the chorus. Here we go. Ready? Oh, okay. I fuck, I for sure heard this. I've heard you play this. Oh yeah, dude. This chorus is really cool. so good. So it's such a throwback to like emo hit. Yeah, emo rock. Emo rock hit. It is tight. And like you know, being raised like. In, Very cool in a Christian it. household, it's like right, I was. I could listen to this anytime I wanted mm -hmm. without having to hide it. Yeah. So it was just perfect. I was That's listened awesome. to it so much. Man, I'm, see, I've got this is funny. You have this. I I had Red on my list, and I took. I was like, I gotta pick some. Red. Yeah. That, was, that was that band of like. Red was cool. A Christian band. Of, yeah, Christian Red was rock. cool. I, the only thing I didn't like about Red was they did like a minute long intro for every song. True. And I was just like, get to the fucking song. As an already. adult looking back on uh, that band. Or, Red, it's it does feel like the, they're a little pretentious, yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's still, it's still high good. school bang, it's still dude. really good. All right, you ready for my last song? Yes, what is your last okay, song? This is this is from my fucking oh. devil boys out there. Oh, okay, all my horny boys out oh, there. Oh, devil horny. I had to boys. throw because, like, right into like, I didn't put anything heavy in here, so I had to end it on a like, this is this was the heavy song where I was like, I might like evil stuff. <laughs> <laughs> It's Vicer Exciser, baby, by Whitechapel. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, I, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it's Whitechapel. That whole record, bro. That whole record. No, dude. dude. Oh, bro. This is that shit you had to, like, yo, my parents cannot know. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. My if my stepmom knows that he just said one less worthless cunt to walk this fucking earth, she will kick me out. 100%. Yeah. He said, with the lips now sewn below your waist, she'll stop feeding you. <laughs> Stop feeding me. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, the White Chapel was so sick. It is sick, but like for the time, it was just like, what the fuck is this? It was so, it was so cool. The fucking clicky kick drum. I remember that part. Yeah. So good. So, such OG bangers, dude. Awesome. Alright, my last one, Austin. Oh, 
<laughs> I can't get out of it. We're not getting I'm into stuck. your part. I'm just gonna We're start doing a cover. Sticking on white I'm just doing a cover now, dog. <laughs> Fuck this. Okay. My last one, a little less My heavy, but one. still just as good. I think yeah. is "Welcome Home" by Coheed and Cambria. Yo. Okay. That song yeah. was a fucking banger. Is it was so cool. Like this. Like listen to this song, and we're just like. An oh, yeah, epic this, yeah, the intro. shred guitar song that's like this massive rock song with these vocals that are like crazy high and soaring. Like, and he plays guitar. Like that's crazy. That he's also the guitarist. Yeah. And he's good. Yeah, his voice is so cool. It's such a good song. Oh man, what a that throwback. riff, bro. This riff right here. Right, legendary. <laughs> It's so simple, but it's so just like, okay. But you are now 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 gets in the ground. So good. So good. Dude. Yeah, we're gonna have to yeah. definitely do a part two to this for sure. Fuck yeah. Because there's uh, so many good songs. Bro, you got me in the throwback mood. There's now, yeah. so many good bangers out there. Yeah, I could yeah. literally go through like, I know, I'm about to make three more lists when I get home. <laughs> God, I forgot how fucking hype music What we should do is we should make a it. Spotify playlist and then call it literally Songs From Our Childhood That Still Slap and just add every song that we do from these videos Dude, into like that, that yeah. playlist. Yeah, that's a good idea. And just have like this massive playlist of songs Dude, that absolutely. we think are fucking really awesome. Absolutely. What a good idea. This is a lot of fun. Are you filming, dude? It's embarrassing. <laughs> hey, if someone can spend $2 million on an NFT, then we could spend a million dollars on a jump scare. What's an NFT? No fucking tits? So it's like the new not safe for work. <laughs> <laughs> it's the opposite. No fucking tits. Pretty much. <laughs> You're at work. No fucking NFTs only. No fucking No more tits. tits. No more tits. No fucking tits for you. No fucking tits websites. No fucking tits.